to my party We're just getting started A life is a dream or a night Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Today we'll see how to achieve this highly complex form in Grasshopper starting from an extreme, uh, extreme simple and quick definition Before we begin let's take a look at the model which is in all respect an extreme complex sub structure um, I envisioned uh, it to be a kind of uh, uh, terrain of an alien planet alien planet ok now we can start with explanation so um, we start um, drawing a closed curve rectangular closed curve we fill this curve with a, a boundary surface then we apply at the surface on, uh, an hexagonal cell grid as you can see here then uh, this is a lunchbox command if you don't have you can uh, download it from uh, food for rhino then uh, when you have this uh, um, hexagonal cells you can take the center of the cell and uh, use it um, to create a delunay edges component so we start from the center point and we create a delunay edges component and this is what we got then we take each one of these segments here of these edges and uh, take the uh, last point, end point and the start point with the common end points um, and then I'm going to delete the overlapping points using call duplicates um, please pay attention if your um, uh, model is too big you can also change the mm, parameter of the UV um, hexagonal cell uh, in order uh, and you can reduce this value here you can put also 20 to work and then increase at the end the uh, the value now uh, you can uh, uh, what we what we want to do is uh, basically uh, move these points in a z direction and uh, and uh, um, so we want to move these points up or down by a series of uh, random values uh, so what we have to do is uh, uh, measure the length of the uh, of the list coming from um, cal point and we use so uh, list length command to to do this and then we um, we create a, a series of uh, uh, random numbers that will be um, the uh, intensity of the vector z to apply um, in a movement component so um, first we uh, measure the length of the uh, cut point output then we create a random list of values um, that will have the same dimension of the point list and then we apply a z uh, versor in order to give the direction of the movement at the end we will have in my case uh, 5000 uh, points and uh, also the same number of vector then I'm going to move the points coming from cut points of these vectors and this is what we obtain we obtain like a very randomic 
distribution of points. Now we are going to connect these, uh, these points together um, and uh, to do this we use the magical proximity 3D command this command here, proximity 3D uh, to connect the points with lines to their nearby neighbors we assign a value of 4 to the group parameter and that this means that any point will be connected to its four nearest neighbors. Pay attention to this value here, minus radius, um, that is meant to reduce exaggeration that uh, could occur if two points are too close to each other. This value may vary depending on the dimension of the initial curve, the one we draw in Rhino. So you have to balance it uh, depending on the dimension of the base curve that you drew. The final step is to apply the multipipe command, assigning a, a constant value of 1 for the node sides, 0 0.3 for the strut sides, um, so we have resulting in an element thickness of about one third of the node and setting uh, the segmentation value to 0, 04 in order to add detail and as size point we use the output of cal point and uh, as carvis we are going to use the list coming from proximity 3d 3D and then we apply flatten to the input and this will be the final result the trailer video is realized uh, is uh, this model that uh, was exported in FBX and imported in Lumion uh, and in Lumion I, I simply assigned a basic material to the model And we reach with few passages a very interesting uh, shape. If you found uh, if you found this tutorial uh, helpful and enjoyed exploring Grasshopper with me, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and uh, subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Your support helps the channel grow, and I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.